Ah, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, hallowed be thy name. On earth as it is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread, hallowed be thy name. Forgive us all our trespasses, hallowed be thy name. As we forgive those who trespass against us, hallowed be thy name. And lead us not into temptation, hallowed be thy name. But deliver us from all the deceivers, hallowed be thy name. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, hallowed be thy name. Forever and forever and ever, hallowed be thy name. Mahadevi, Mahakali, Mahalakshmi, Saraswati, Ido Ninagi Nami Suvi, Shri Chamundeshwari. Mahadevi, Mahakali, Mahalakshmi, Saraswati, Ido Ninagi Nami Suvi, Shri Chamundeshwari. Mahashakti, Adi Shakti, Parashakti, Shakti Devati Mahashakti Adi Shakti Parashakti Devati Nini Namma Thai Amma Nini Namma Thai Amma Kai Amma Bhagavati Mahadevi Mahakali Mahalakshmi Saraswati Ido Ninagi Nami Suve Shri Chamunde Shwari Ido Ninagi Nami Suve Shri Chamunde Shwari Shri Chamunde Shwari Shri Chamunde Shwari Good morning everyone. Myself Prakshita I am from 2E. Today I am going to talk a few words about Raksha Bandhan and Moharam. India is a country of festivals. Raksha Bandhan is celebrated on the day of Shravan Purnima. This festival is celebrated by brothers and sisters. On this day, the sisters apply tilak on the foreheads of their brothers and tie a rakhi on their wrist and give them sweets. After receiving a rakhi from the sister, the brother gives a gift to his sister and takes the responsibility of protecting his sister. There are many stories behind in celebrating this festival, one of which is mentioned in the Mahabharata. When Lord Krishna killed Shishupala, Krishna suffered minor injuries. When Draupadi saw this, she immediately tore a piece of her sari and tied it on Krishna's hand. At that time, Krishna pledged to protect Draupadi forever. Since then, Raksha Bandhan festival began to be celebrated. Moharam Moharam is celebrated as the event of the Islamic New Year by Muslims around the globe. It is regarded as a pious and important festival by the community. It is one of the four sacred months of the year for Muslims. Muharram also marks the anniversary of the Battle of Karbala, where the Islamic prophet Muhammad's grandson Imam Hussein ibn Ali was killed. This day is widely honored by Shia Muslims across the world. It was also during this time that Prophet Muhammad migrated from Mecca to Medina, which is known as Hijra. And so, Muharram marks this important event as well. Lastly, I would wish a very happy Raksha Bandhan and Moharam to all my teachers and friends. Thank you. A very good morning to all of you. It's a long time since I spoke to you. And probably it will be also a long time from now that I will be also getting to speak to you on an online mode. Because the good news is we will be starting offline classes next week. And I know most of you are waiting for offline classes. If not you, at least your parents are surely waiting for you to get back to offline classes so that you will get the best 
in this year and not struggle and find it difficult like last year. So let us take this opportunity of attending offline classes but let it be with responsibility because the department has given us permission to start offline classes with lot of conditions. First thing is you all are divided into two batches. Each class is divided into two batches. We will be posting that list today a little later after your class. So every class is in two batches for example 2A1, 2A2 same way for all the five sections. A timetable is prepared from 9 o'clock. So your classes start from 9 because it will be a one hour class and it goes on till 1 o'clock because you need to get back home for lunch though that is the reason why we are starting at 9 and ending at 1 o'clock. So this is basically what you need to look at in the groups what we will be sending to you all today evening. Do not miss out because you need to bring those respective books. Lab records teachers have already started telling you to write. So in the next few days please see that all these lab records whatever teachers have told you up to when now is complete. Because now we are into four uh, I won't call semesters but um, terms four terms our entire syllabus is divided by the Department of Pre-Institute Education. I will send you that calendar of events also along with your class list, your um, timetable as well as the details about how your terms are divided. Also for labs your batch list will be same as what is in your class. If you belong to A1 then you are A1 also for labs. So that is not going to change. If there is a small change your teachers will inform you. So we will not put a separate batch list but your batches will be the same as planned as in how your class lists are done. Labs become very important because at the end of midterm you will be writing also a lab exam. Now it is not only once in the annual but you will be writing a lab exam two times in the year. So whatever labs are completed you need to write it at the end of the first semester and then after that you will have to write at the end of the year. So both the marks are considered. Everything whatever you do is going to get converted to marks. Remember that students, your assignments, your attendance and everything is going to get converted to marks. So at the end of it you should not regret that you got less average marks because of either I didn't do assignment, I didn't attend class, I didn't do this. For any reason your total average will come down. So see that your performance, your attendance, your assignments, your lab work and everything is done properly to get the best advantage of it. On the other hand those children who do regular classes well will get a boost in your total marks. When you are coming to college, please bring your identity cards, what has been given to you. Carry your own water bottle. Carry one small bottle of sanitizer in between if you want to sanitize. Wear your uniform because uniform wearing is compulsory. We have already told your parents last time when we had a meeting. A consent letter from your parent is a compulsion. So please bring your consent letter and all of you who are in your Uru, village, their city, this city, please come back to Bangalore. Don't miss out on classes telling that we are not here. All of you have to start attending your offline classes. And assignments will continue. It will be only three subjects per day. Not like the timetable which is there now. We will have send you the assignment timetable also. So assignments will be posted in the Google Classroom. So classes will be offline, assignments will continue online. So please continue that good work of what you are doing. Uh, teachers will not give you more than half an hour to 40 minutes work in each subject. So don't have to worry that you will have to do lots. It is all planned so that none of you will find it difficult. 
So this is a plan of how we will go about for you second year students. Looking forward to welcoming you all to back to college and let us have a good time and then plan out how we can do other things as in sports activities, cultures and other things alongside after discussing with you all. So uh, looking forward to see you all on Monday. And fees, those are not paid, will have to pay by 21st. 20th is a holiday, but you have today, that is 19, and 21st Saturday, last day to pay your fees, those who haven't paid fees. Thank you.